Well, there are many in the United States, even here in Columbus, affected by the war that's happening in Ukraine. Yeah, Ohio State men's gymnastics coach, Rustam Sharapov, he lives half a world away from the fighting, but he still lives it every single day watching his country under attack. And he shared his story with our Whitney Harding. Okay, 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 come on. Rustam Sharapov is used to routine. It's what made him an Olympic gymnast and now a successful coach. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. But now his everyday routine has a couple new steps. You go into bed, you call them. You wake up, you call them. <sighs> Rustam's family is in his home country of Ukraine. I don't want to wish anybody to go through that. Rustam was born in the Soviet Union and at 15 his family moved to Ukraine where he flourished as a gymnast. In 1992 he won an Olympic gold medal with the unified team. I like this word unified. We had uh, guys on the team from Azerbaijan, from Ukraine, from Russia. We have Armenians. We didn't care. Where are we from? Then in 96, Ukraine's first Summer Olympics, Rustam won gold this time wearing the blue and yellow. It's always we've been proud to represent the countries. That, that's what I think my generation, that's all what we care. Now, 25 years later, Russia and Ukraine are at war, and Rustam, who grew up a proud Soviet and Ukrainian athlete, is trying to understand why and how it came to this. I, I will never support war, ever. I, I just feel bad. That's also painful to hear some of your, your uh, teammates from the Soviet Union and, and what they stand for. In reality, right now, during this hard time, you figure out who is who. So Rustam is fighting in the only way he can, through help and hope. I see that the people is opening their hearts, and, and I'm very, very grateful for that. We just need, need to be human beings. Local for you, Whitney Harding, NBC4. And Rustam is working to help people back at his home country and surrounding countries. And if you want to help, he says you can reach out to him on social media. We have those channels linked with this story on our website. We've seen so many people around here uh, who are connected in some way yeah. and, and level that you never would have anticipated until we see something like this. Yeah. But to have that connection for him, exactly. go to bed every day, yeah. wake up every day and be worried in that time, you know, yeah. our, our prayers out to him and all of those who are suffering through this. Absolutely. And as far as his parents, they are still uh, in the area of course, being in their 70s, the challenges mm. of getting to the border, it's very difficult, he says. Um, but as you mentioned, of course, we are keeping them in our prayers, keeping the entire country in our prayers right now. And we will continue to follow the story as the news breaks out there as Absolutely. well.